What's going on you guys? This is the Max KDI or another HP Compact Pro 6300. This is the micro tower, the upgrades. So first you're going to do is you're going to move the side cover panel. There'll be two thumb screws in the back. You have to unscrew them. And this one slides up straight up like this. Move the side cover panel. Now I want to be, uh, we're going to be, this is for gaming, light gaming. So we're going to be upgrading the from a hard drive to a solid state drive. Upgrade the memory and upgrade the video card. So first I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade the hard drive, show you guys how to do that. So you're going to disconnect the SATA and power cable. There's a little secure clip right here, there's your finger, you press it up right here. To slides up the hard drive like this. And what you have to do is disconnect the, the two screws on each side. And you can use a Torx T15 screwdriver or you can use a flathead screwdriver, it will work fine. So here's the old hard drive, now we upgraded to newer one. So you're going to install the screws on each side. Now, I'm going to screw them on and make sure they're tight, so they're not loose. And you're going to slide it in. And you're going to connect back the stadium power cable back to the hard drive, it's a 3.5 inch. That's it, so I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade to solid state drive. And I'm gonna be you guys using a uh, 2.5 inch. You can use any kind of 2.5 inch solid state drive. And you have to do is buy this. They sell this little caddy for the hard drive. It's a from a 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch that you can install a solid state drive in. I'm, I'm not sure what the model number is. It's unbranded, but they sell this online. You can buy, and this is uh, from 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch. They sell this for the solid state drive. But you can just use a solid state drive any kind and install double-sided foam tape right here in the bottom and install it and it worked perfectly fine but I'm going to show you guys how to install the solid state drive in here so you're going to do is remove the front cover basil there's little clips right here lift them up right here and I'm have to use the I have to use the screws right here it's got two screws here I need actually four screws here that we have to install And same with the other side. Install two more screws. There'll be two, two screws on each side. And now what you're gonna do is uh, it slides like this the other side and installs the cat right here that's installed. Now all you have to do is just connect the SATA and power cable to the solar state drive. And that's it, you're done. That's how you upgrade to solar state drive. And guys, be the, let's go and start. I'm gonna go and start off from the from memory. I'm gonna put the front cover basil back on. And I'm gonna be installing 16 gigs. That's four gig per each slot. DDR3 9 cc for desktop. 
And the memory I guys like is go with the Kingston Crucial. Carse, Kingston, the Crucial, those are the top three brands I like. So I'm gonna move this memory here. And it's got a little white clips on it that you have to lift the little one to the left and one to the right. So this is the memory. So be really careful. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and install the memory. And you hear the two, two clicks when you install the memory properly. Eight gigs. Twelve. Sixteen gigs of memory we install here. Now, going to be the last part is we have upgrading a VD card for like gaming. So what you're going to do is this little little watch right here. Lift this up right here. And we're gonna be installing the video card through PCI Express times 16 slot right here, the black slot right here. That's when we install the video card. Those slots right here, the little ones, those are PCI Express times one slot, and that's a PCI slot at the bottom right there, the Y1. So you're gonna remove the two PCI bracket right here, the two brackets right here, where the PCI Express times 16 slot here, and then another one here that's used in two slots. And the video card, guys, I'm gonna be using is a GTX uh, 1050 Ti. And the power supply in here is actually uh, 320 watts, so you don't have to upgrade the video. The power supply, power supply is powerful enough, the 320 watts. So for the GeForce GTX 1050 Ti, it worked perfectly fine. Or if you're gonna be installing a GTX 1050 or the GTX 1030. So here's the video card. And it comes with both a uh, full-size bracket that you, you will need on this one. And it does not require a six-pin power connection right here. It does not require. So it's, it's, it's actually a low, uh, low power consumption video card, so it does not require a six-pin power. So we're going to go ahead and uh, install the video card. You guys can see. Let me move the camera here. And we're going to install the video card through right here, through the PCI Express times 16 slot right here. Okay, the video card is installed. Now this little latch right here, you're going to clip it back on here. Let me get the PCI bracket here. It's on its way, okay, so. So we're done, we upgraded the video card. So you guys, this will be the end of the video. We upgraded from the hard drive to solid state drive. We upgraded the memory to total 16 gigs. And we upgraded the video card uh, GTX 1050 Ti. This is for light gaming. So you guys, this will be the end of the video. Let me go ahead and close the side cover panel. So what you guys have to do is get the latest drivers, go to nvidia.com. If you can run the same video card, go to nvidia.com. If you got a 64-bit 64, 64 operating system, then just download the latest drivers for the video card and you're done. And restart the computer. And you can install the monitor directly to the video card. You can plug in. Put the side cover back on. And you're done. So guys, this will be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.